Beating your first extreme demon is arguably one of the biggest milestones a Geometry Dash player can achieve in their playing career. Most people would of course pick rather easy extremes like AQ, Cataclysm, or Thanatophobia, myself included. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have to play this anymore. <laughs> but what if you wanted to go all out? What if you wanted more than that? What is the hardest level anyone has ever beaten as their first extreme demon? The top 3 in this little video, I hope you all enjoy. On number 3 we have Korean player MSG jumping from Jawbreaker to Congregation by Presta at number 39 on the demon list. A really insane difficulty jump, one of the biggest this game has ever seen in fact, but actually an understandable one nonetheless. Congregation is an odd level because, despite its insane difficulty, anyone with enough patience and focus can beat it. It doesn't make use of the wave or the ship game mode once in its 3 minute long playtime, which are the two modes new players often struggle the most with. It's only timings, and pretty slow clicks per second are required throughout all of it. Now even though this, according to most victors, including MSG, makes the level awful to play, it still grants a good opportunity for a really hard extreme demon to beat, for a player with not that much skill but a lot of patience. This is also just another reminder that the Korean GD community is a lot bigger than you might have thought. Next up we have infamous challenge player You Fucking What Made beating Cold Sweat by Power and More at number 21 as his first extreme. GD challenge players get accused way too often of not actually being skilled and that they're only good at wave, spam and cube timings and couldn't beat full length extreme demons if they tried. This claim doesn't really make that much sense because different players just have different skill sets and only because you have a few very distinct strengths doesn't mean that you have fake skill or something like that. So it was just about time that a challenge player would finally prove this accusation wrong by beating the one list demon that actually plays into these strengths. I actually thought a bit about whether or not I should put UFWM on this list because even though his hardest reacted level at the time was Acropolis, an insane demon, he has beaten Diamond Blade by Ice Cape OG, which from a difficulty standpoint definitely is an extreme. But ultimately it is really just a half ironic 2 minute 20 seconds long challenge which is neither decorated nor rated and wasn't even ever supposed to be verified legitimately. And since literally no one else ever counted unrated extreme demons into anything, I won't either for this list. Quick honorable mention before we move to number 1. Okay so basically, uh, <laughs> this one guy jumped from Theory of Everything V2, an easy demon, to Crimson Planet by True Omega, the 18th hardest level currently. The reason I sadly cannot count this is that he played on a layout version, effectively nerfing the level and also meaning that the list moderators couldn't verify the legitimacy of the completion. Also the video quality looks like this. I do however think that the player Lil Nicky is legitimate since they have been uploading Crimson Planet progress as far back as March 2021. And I just really felt the need to include this because this guy plays on a trash 60Hz laptop which can't even run a layout on more than 180 FPS at which they have to record with a mobile phone. And I can just so relate to that and it honestly is inspiring that you can apparently still do some really impressive stuff in this game no matter your hardware. Either way, let's get to the hardest first extreme demon of all time. Okay, I apologize for potentially being overdramatic but like, honestly I was, I was shocked when I saw this. Genuinely this is probably the most insane thing I have ever seen a player do in this game. As if jumping from 9 circles, one of the easiest hard demons there are, to an extreme demon wasn't ambitious enough. German player Artify8 chose to beat Firework as their first. Yes, actually. The, th the third hardest level in the game was this guy's first extreme demon, and it took him 281,000 attempts. Dedication and ambition like this is exactly what makes playing this game so exciting, even after 5 years of no updates. And I respect the hell out of Artify for pulling through with this and not giving up. So yeah, definitely go sub to this guy, he really deserves it. All links are in the description. Ending this video, I just want to very quickly say that I highly discourage anyone from doing such big difficulty jumps. For the few times it does work, it is insanely impressive and fascinating, but for the 99% it doesn't, it will only frustrate you and take you ages for nothing. Also it really is not a sustainable way of building up actual skill. But either way, I'm really looking forward to the crazy stuff players will do in the future. I hope you all enjoyed this short video, if you did, you know what to do. Have a good day everyone, and bye. Fortnite Battle Pass I just shit out my ass Booted up my PC Cause I need need